Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the slope of a line, a linear function, given two points. So you're gonna need two points, and with two points, you can find the slope of any line. So let's say, gonna have our graph here. So let's say we got a line coming from down here, looks something like this. And let's say it has the point zero, zero, so that's the origin. Let me label my axes. Here's your x, here's your y. We've got a point here at zero, zero. We've got a point here, let's say this is at three, two. x value of three, y value of two. So what is the slope of this line? Well, slope is rise over run. So to find the rise over run of this line, we need the change in y from here to here over the change in x from here to here. And you can represent this as y1, so the y-coordinate of the first point, minus y2, the y-coordinate of the second point, over x1, the y-coordinate of the first point, minus x2, the x-coordinate of the second point. I think I said y-coordinate, I'm talking about the x-coordinates, my mistake. So, if we're looking at this example, and also you can make this y2 and make this x2, you just have to make sure that whatever order you're subtracting your y's in, you're also subtracting your x's in that order. So if you do y1 minus y2, you have to do x1 minus x2. If you do y2 minus y1, you have to do x2 minus x1. But either one works, as long as you keep that consistency. So for this line, we can take two the y value of this point, and generally I would recommend you try to pick the order such that you don't deal with negatives, just because that's a little easier and more intuitive. So we're going to take the first y coordinate, 2, and subtract the second y coordinate over here, 0, and divide that by the first y coordinate, 3, minus the second x coordinate, 0. So this is equal to two minus zero is two, over three minus zero is three. It is equal to two thirds. Let's look at another example with a little bit more uh, not so nice numbers. Let's say we've got a line that looks, ooh, let's do a negative line. So a line, say it looks like that. And let's take two points. Let's say we've got a point right here that is do, 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 do. Let's call that negative one, three. And let's say we've got a point right here. Draw a dotted line. And let's say that's one, two, three. We'll say that's three, negative two. I hope you can, uh, I hope it's not a problem. I'm not labeling your units here. That's not really important. We're just picking any two points that could these feasibly be on this line. And we're gonna go through this slope formula. So now what order do we wanna go in? Well, if we do y1 minus y2, let's say this is our first point, we'll have three minus a negative, which means we'll get a positive number. But then over here, we'll have a negative minus a positive, so we'll get a negative number. If we do it the other way around, we'll have negative two minus positive three. So either way, we're gonna have to work with negatives. So I'm just gonna work with this being our first point, we're gonna do the y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So our first y value is three. And from that, we're going to subtract our second y value, negative two. And this gets divided by the first x value, negative one minus the second x value, which is three. This is equal to three plus two, which is five, over negative one minus three, which is negative four. So our final answer is negative five fourths, and that's it, that's the slope of the line. So you're gonna need to know how to do this if you're trying to um, find the equation of a line given two points. This is a pretty important step. Two points defines a line, so you can find a line from two points, and this is one of the things you'll need to be able to do, is find the slope. So I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you need any further clarification. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. Drink up, baby. Look at the stars. I'll kiss you again. Between the bars, I can't
keep seeing you there with your hands in the air.